Welcome back, everyone, to Grand Tactician, the Civil War. It is late May, 1862, and I am trying to figure out a couple of issues right now. Number one is uh, these Union armies have pursued the Army of the Shenandoah up into southern Pennsylvania, and I can't get them out. I keep getting hit by these massive armies, and there's just really nothing I can do about them. I'm trying to get them back into Winchester, but I'm just having a really hard time being able to get away from these armies. Uh, they just massively outnumber me like three to one, so it's really not worth fighting. In the meantime, uh, we're going to send A.P. Hill's Army of the Northwest. He probably needs a promotion to at least Lieutenant General, I think. Um, let's take a look here, because he's still a, a Major General at the moment. Yeah, let's get him promoted to at least Lieutenant General. Um, so we're going to try to send him up there, see if we can't draw off some of the Union armies that are threatening toward Nashville. Army of Tennessee only has, well, up to 15 now. A second ago, it was 12,000 men because I've sent a ton of their men to be replenished. Uh, they had a bunch of units that were down under 1,000. We do have a bunch of available options here right now under military and civil. I don't think these are the ones I want, though. Let's back up and see what else there is that's going to be available to us. Military railroad, no. Organization reform is the one I need. That'll be a, that'll allow me to get core for the first time. So we're gonna wait and not spend anything in military right now until we get a little higher up. Okay, I renamed AP Hill's army as well from the Army of the Northwest to the Army of East Tennessee. Uh, our Western Army is currently laying siege to the Fort Milligan garrison here around Columbus, Georgia. Uh, we're see if, gonna see if we can't finish that off. Um, I do have another army. Oh, Union recruits offered bounties. We're gonna start seeing some additional recruits joining the Union Army now. Our army, the Trans-Mississippi Theater is our first elite force. They've got their elite flag now. Uh, we're going to probably go ahead and send them over into Arkansas now that their readiness is back up where it needs to be. We'll start at Little Rock, and then we'll probably try to make a move up toward Carrollton uh, to see if we can't hit one or two of these armies. I'm hoping he'll send at least one of them over here to deal with the threat from the Western Army. Let's go take a look and see what, what's happening with the Army of the Shenandoah. Uh, all right, they did make it back down into Winchester. That's excellent news. Let's get them back to their home base. I pretty much, for now, I think I'm going to just have to hold tight with my Virginia armies and just defend the border of Virginia against all of these massive Union armies and try to make my incursions out here further in, in the West. All right, looks like it's working. Uh, the Army of Michigan, 12,000 strong Army of Indiana, about 13,000 strong eventually, are headed toward A.P. Hill's Army of East Tennessee. Uh, as long as those are the only two that are coming, we can handle that. Um, I don't know if I should build a supply depot here or not. Probably not. I'm waiting for the Army of uh, Tennessee to get built back up. They're back up to 28,000 now. Once their readiness is good, then we can move back up here. It looks like he's also shifting another army over that way. I really need to take this fort uh, so that we can kind of hold that, garrison it, and then make a move on Cairo. Uh, Trans-Mississippi Theater has arrived in Little Rock. Now we're going to make a move on Fort Smith, which is in Union hands at the moment, and then I think we'll probably end up bumping into a Union army somewhere around here. 16,000 men there, 12,000 there. It's a lot. If we hit all three of them at once, it might be a problem, but if we take on any two of them, I think we'll be okay. Okay, there we go. Glorious victory at Fort Milligan. That's what we were waiting on. Uh, I have dropped down my spending on some of the um, subsidies because I've dropped into that dreaded CCC plus credit rating, which means I can't recruit any new units or buy any weapons or really just spend anything uh, right now. Um, so we'll wait on that. We're 10 days away from industrialization three. Hopefully we'll be able to drive that back up. But I think after industrialization three, we'll probably need to go back over here and look at Something like printing notes, too. Uh, that'll help a little bit with that. Um, where are we? We are here. 
which of course we can't recruit any units to go into Fort Milligan at the moment. I may have to leave somebody behind. All right, let's get Jubal early and new. I think what I want to get here is um, base of supply. I like that. Improves readiness recovery. Uh, so let's sit tight here for a little while, wait for the rest of our recruited troops to arrive. Army of Illinois may come after us, but we actually could take him out pretty easily, I think. Okay, uh, U.S. Congress is regulating slavery in the territories. We'll see how that affects my uh, British intervention. Still at 35%. I uh, just invested a little bit in... Uh, to some projects to drop or to raise that up you can see he's already got emancipation proclamation and legal blockade which drop it by 40 percent i don't think there's a lot more that the the u.s can do to affect that so it really can only go up from here uh, so at some point we're going to be able to get that uh, there's organization reform which is huge that now allows us the ability uh, to raise these armies which technically right now are core level um, we're going to be able to raise them up to a full army uh, and now we can create core within our army uh, so i'll kind of organize all of that figure out who i want to promote to those roles and start dividing this thing up a little bit more some of these bigger armies okay so we've got uh lee's got longstreet and yule uh just so happened that Guys who were really historically core commanders under Lee were my best two options among the division commanders that I had available to me. Uh, and then in the Army of Tennessee, we now have Edward Johnson uh, and Robert Beckham are going to be our core commanders, and we're getting all of that organized. I can't recruit anything new right now because of my poor credit rating. Uh, hopefully we're going to be able to solve that. We're one day away from Industrialization three. then we're going to start printing notes and uh, then we should be able to start doing that again. Right now, he's got 259,000 men in the field to my 200,000. So we're staying within a respectable range right now. Glorious victory at uh, Fort Smith, Arkansas. That's the good news. The bad news is the Army of the Potomac is roaming around in Virginia, and we're going to have to deal with that. Um, so let's ho head over to take a look at our Trans-Mississippi Theater, uh, where we have just defeated Fort Smith Garrison now we're taking the town but here we go we've got a battle the Army of Northern Virginia only Longstreet's Corps where in the world is Ewell's Corps and why will he not be assisting in this case because he's right there that's kind of strange they're both in a good state of readiness I can't see any logical reason why Ewell would not be involved in this battle but okay Longstreet's going to do it Okay, we're going to be starting off right off the bat in contact with at least one of his divisions. I don't know how much more he's got on the field than that right now. He's only got 7,500 men on the field. The rest are going to come in the form of reinforcements. So we've got a real chance here to smash one division of his army before the rest can arrive. But I am going to cover all my bases here because I expect he'll come down from Centerville at some point. Uh, Morale's really high for both armies, so that should make things interesting. I want to get my artillery firing right away. And right here in the center, we've got the Emerald Guard. Going to be our first forces to fire. Arma Irish right here. Okay, so we're going to get the Victoria Mounted Rifles in here behind him. Going to get them dismounted and firing right along this fence as quickly as we can. I've got artillery right here. I'm moving the... Uh, moving Jonathan's rifles up along this fence. Uh, we're moving the 33rd Virginia there. We've got the Armagh Irish coming up on this side. And then we're going to bring up the Royal Scots Greys in a reserve position. We're going to try to drive these guys off. We've got three hours until uh, the next forces arrive. If we can win this battle before they even arrive, that would be ideal. And it looks like we've got a good chance to do that. Just got to drive off three brigades. All right, we've made contact. I actually did not want the Royal Scots Greys moving up that far. I 
need Jonathan's rifles to move in along this fence now. Jane Lua regulars, let's get them dismounted. And now we're just gonna pour the fire into these guys. I'm actually gonna move the Victorian mounted rifles forward so we can get at this third brigade that's in the rear. Gotta make this happen fast. But I'm gonna hold the majority of my force back just in case we don't quite get there. In time before the other forces arrive. So far, so good. Why are they idle? They should be firing. I'm having a hard time because of this building in the way. Alright, boys, pour it into them. Bring up support. We'll get another brigade up there. Bring up the fighting tigers. All right, we broke Scribner. That's good news. Let's press forward. Try to break the other two. Actually, we only need to break one of them. Let's take a look at our report. Still two hours on Kimes Raiders. So I think we're in good shape. This will end up being a pretty minor battle. Oh, that house got destroyed. There you go, boys. Victorian mounted rifles. Drive them back. I think we got it. Beautiful. Nice and simple. Not much to that one. Not sure who we're going to give battle honors to on that one. We'll take a look. So honestly, pretty minor battle. Nobody really stood out in that one, even though we did inflict some decent casualties there. I'm not going to issue any specific battle honors for that battle. I'm sure we're going to have plenty more to come. Uh, with the Army of Northern Virginia. That was June 27th, 1862. So we're historically in the range of the Peninsula Campaign, the Seven Days Battles that would have been happening outside of Richmond. So at the moment, we've kept the, the war much more to the north outside of uh, Washington. So that's good in Virginia. So yeah, somehow the Department of Pennsylvania snuck in behind me, and they're in the process of taking Petersburg. I have no idea how that happened. Um, that's 12,000 men. So we're obviously going to have to go deal with that. Do I have anybody? Okay, I've got 9,000 men in the fort there in Winchester. So I can I can send Johnston back to deal with this. Go smash these guys. And uh, Robert E. Lee can sit here with these. Uh, dealing with that. What, what city fell this time? Uh, it's probably got to be um, Fort Smith, Arkansas. Let's go ahead and go out to our Trans-Mississippi Theater. Yeah, Fort Smith just fell or is about to. There we go. Now it fell. All right. Uh, we don't have the ability to recruit anybody right now. We don't have any. Um, not only do we not have the credit rating, but we also don't have the manpower to recruit new units at the moment. Uh, so let's move now with the Trans-Mississippi Theater north up to uh, Carrollton, Arkansas. And we are moving. Uh, we actually took Cairo. Maybe that was the one that fell in that notification. Uh, that's a pretty big deal. We'll see if he hits me with any of his armies there. Uh, now let's look at these two corps are not quite ready to move yet. I'd like to move them up. Uh, but it looks like right now he's just holding the Army of Michigan Army in Indi of Indiana uh, to watch me. Um, I'm not sure if I want to move forward with them or hold them right there for the time being. Uh, we're making our moves in the west. We're kind of just trying to hold in the east at the moment. Okay, here we go. Uh, Army of Southwest Missouri, Army of the West, the 46th Army, all coming for our western army, which is currently sitting on Cairo, Illinois. 
be interesting to see where this battle is fought. We're going to be outnumbered uh, pretty substantially by about 50% or so. He's going to have slightly more guns than me. I think we can do this. All right, so the objective is all the way down here on the southern end of the battlefield. We actually could deploy anywhere all the way up to here, but I'd rather make him march really far to come at me, which he's going to have to do. Uh, and dig in behind this creek here, and then we'll just kind of respond based on where he shows up. I'm going to hold my cav out on the flanks just to see if he tries to get around me there. And uh, then we'll dig in and see what happens. Well, I wasn't expecting him to show up that quickly, but here he is right at the center with a couple of brigades. So we're ready for that. We've got our artillery already firing. Let's get... Uh, long range going on our guns but for now it's just gonna be artillery it looks like holding the center of the line here we've got Tucson Rangers Missouri Iron Brigade Santa Fe Irregulars and the Swedish Royal Guards I'm gonna move up here a little bit with Walker and Bartow. And he's probably going to wait until he gets his full force into position before he starts making a move. I'm going to move this cav up. We'll let him come at us. I've got 10-pounder parrots here. 24-pounder um, howitzers. Another 24-pounder. We've got more 24-pounders. A lot of 24-pounders. That's mainly what this army's made. Uh, this, uh, Army's artillery is made of. Okay, here he comes. He's going to drive right at our center. It's only 4 o'clock in the morning here. A lot of artillery fire happening. I'm going to pull Wise over here so we can get, get a little bit more strength on that line. Now he's going to start shifting over this way. We see more coming down. So far, really good in terms of the casualties inflicted. He does have higher morale than me, so we'll have to deal with that. Numbers-wise, right now we're pretty even. watch the fight go on for a little while here. I love how it looks when it's not quite daylight. And you can see the, the flames and the smoke coming from the guns. How are we doing here? Oh, we got a... Uh, Give them sharpshooters. Oh, we gotta get Wise's brigade some better weapons. We've got available weapons. Just these are new units that I just recruited. And I hadn't upgraded them yet. So we've got four weapons on our left here. I'm gonna swing Chalmers around. and then send out some skirmishers to go deal with those guns. All right, we broke one of them. I think we're gonna be in good shape here holding the line. Two to one casualties so far. Extending his line. And let's bring the cab up a little further on both sides. Seems pretty clear he's coming straight at the center. He's not trying to outflank me. Oh, we just lost a brigade. Swedish Royal Guards, they, they took 30% casualties and they broke. Alright, let's 
move Fry over into this position. But not, no, don't take the road, dude. All right, you know what? You move there. We'll move Bartow into that position. All right, let's move on these guns. He's got no infantry support over there. Shift the ANSI independence over into a reserve position. How are we doing? Uh, taking a lot of casualties. Over there in the center. Santa Fe are regulars. I'm a little concerned about them. Double quick, boys. Double quick. Uh, Bartos engaged now. He's going to have to fight right there. And we'll send Fry over this way then. All right, we're starting to see some hope here in terms of being able to drive off the Union on this side. Morale's pretty close to even now. Oh, we just lost another brigade over here, but that's okay. We've got help. Robertson, take out those guns. Oh, there goes another unit in my center. Dang. That was the Santa Fe Irregulars. They lost about 40%. Come on, Fry. Plug that gap. All right, let's see if we can't mess him up over here on his right, <clears throat> since he's doing that to our right. Looks like Dan Sickles is in command in a division over here. There we go. That helps. Yeah, we'll just do to his right what he did to ours. I think we'll be okay. Man, this is going to be a bloody battle. Big time. All right, Fry. Got to keep an eye on Walker's brigade. They're taking a lot of casualties, but they're a fairly big unit, so not too, too worried right now. More worried about Tucson Rangers. Got keys in quite a predicament here. There, we broke another one. Beautiful. We'll let Robertson's brigade keep doing its thing. It's doing doing pretty well at the moment. All right, I'm feeling good about this. We had a few moments where some units broke. That wasn't ideal, but now we're starting to bottle him up. And we could turn this into a route, turn it into a major victory. His morale's down to 36. Ours is at 41, though. It's not fantastic. Artillery's getting low on ammo. Pressure Brigade holding firm. Major victory. Just got to hang on now. Beautiful. Almost two to one casualties. There we go. Lovely, lovely, lovely. We had a good battle plan. He 
did exactly what I expected him to this time by coming down the middle and then allowed me to kind of envelop his flanks. We just captured one of his brigades, which is going to make those casualties better than two to one now. Almost 40% of the enemy in that battle. He's just shattered big time. Definitely be giving out some awards, battle honors for this one. Probably at least two. Looking at Walker's Brigade, who inflicted a 1,000 casualties. That might be one of them. Um, High Pressure Brigade. Had a really nice day. Inflicted 766 casualties. Wow, the Great Western Legion inflicted 3,700 casualties. Look at the Tucson Rangers. 2,200 casualties inflicted by the Tucson Rangers. That's definitely uh, some battle honors there. And then we'll see who else. But probably Walker's Brigade and the Tucson Rangers are going to be the ones this time. Uh, Walker's Brigade was over here on the right. They lost 757 men. Uh, where's Tucson Rangers? Right here in the center. Look at that. They lost 700 men but held the line and, more importantly, inflicted over 2,000 casualties in the process. Good job. All right, we're going to wrap it up right there for this episode. Uh, next episode, I'm hoping will be a stream. I'll try to announce that at least a day in advance if I'm able to. Depends on my schedule this week. Uh, we'll be getting to some other gaming content besides just this video, or besides just this game this week. So be watching for that. And we'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.